guys um so i know it's been forever since i've been on youtube and i just wanted to um do a little video today um i am so excited to be um sharing this with you today i just saw my doctor this morning and guess what i am gonna start manjaro i am so excited and so happy to be able to start this and so i just wanted to kind of document my journey as we go um so this literally i haven't even given myself the first injection yet so i literally saw my doctor this morning um called up my pharmacy and they had my script ready and yay i'm so so excited so um so currently the company that i work for basically pays for all of my medications um, all I had to do was fill out that copay card like on the Manjaro website and then submit that and then basically my company covered the rest of it. So I am super, super blessed to be able to, at least right now, um, get Manjaro and start on that without having to cost me um, hundreds and hundreds of dollars. So I'm super thrilled, so excited, and I just wanted to kind of document this journey. Um, so I'm going to be giving myself my very first dose here um, together with you on YouTube um, and we're gonna see how it goes I'll try to give like some updates throughout the next week um, and see how I'm feeling um, I work the next couple days 12-hour shifts um, so we'll see how I make it through the weekend <laughs> right after the injection and then um, I have a couple days off next week and then I'll be back for another three so I'm really kind of curious to see how um, the Manjaro will will affect me um, my cousin has been taking it and she's lost um, like 60 pounds since let's see it's January now and she's been taking it since like sometime in July um, like the latter part of July she's lost 60 pounds is doing phenomenal on it and um, she just loves it and she did have some GI side effects such as some nausea um, it really just decreases her appetite amazingly um, it lowered her a1c and um, she kind of has had some constipation with it as well so I'm kind of anticipating those will be some of the side effects that I will probably have um, but I am bound to determine to um, stick with this and see what happens and see if in a few months it can help lower my A1C because last time I had it checked was in April of 2022. It's now January 2023 and it was 6.6. .6. And so um, I'm really hoping to get my A1C back below 6.0. Um, I really want it down in the fives. That is just a much better place for me to live. And um, I just am excited to get it back down. I got labs done today when I saw my doctor, so I don't know what any of that is. Um, I'm kind of curious to see what my A1C will be because um, I basically ended up moving, as you guys know from my last video. Um, so I was moving last fall and I couldn't follow up with my doctor in the city and I had to establish care in my new hometown. So getting an appointment scheduled was about three months out. So it's just, it's been a process. But I finally saw her and she thought that Montara would be great for me. And so I'm super, super excited to be starting this. And I hope to kind of take you guys along on my journey and let you know how it's going. Um, I know TikTok is like full of Manjaro, uh, maybe YouTube is too, I haven't really seen a, a bunch of it but I haven't been looking. So I just kind of want to A, document this journey because it's something that I can look back on for me and then um, also, you know, just for anyone else who may get the opportunity to, to start Manjaro. My kitty cat is climbing on the bed, um, so <laughs> I'll flip the camera around here, maybe. Zoe! Oh, she's not gonna hear. Oh, it won't let me flip. But say hello to the YouTube Zoe Bell. Zoe! Zoe Bells! So I had you guys propped up against that box and she's like now in the way. So, hey. <laughs> um, hopefully, I can get you guys set back up here. My. Uh, my camera isn't charged and so I'm doing this on my phone which I normally film on my camera which has a tripod and um, of course like 95% of my stuff is in storage or more <laughs> and so I do have my camera and my tripod but it's not charged up because I wasn't necessarily anticipating I'm trying to get you guys like all lined up here um, 
I wasn't necessarily anticipating um, starting this today because I honestly didn't think that the pharmacy would have it because there's been such an issue with that. Um, so I just thought I would call my pharmacy and they said, yeah, we have your scripts ready. So I'm like, yay, I'm going to go pick them up and I'm going to go ahead and get started. I honestly thought it might not be until Monday that I would get them. Today's Friday. And I thought I probably would have to wait a couple days to get it in, but they had it, so I'm so excited. Um, all right, so I don't want to like keep everyone in anticipation. Um, we're gonna inject this. Um, I have not injected it ever, um, but there's four pins in here. I'm opening it up, and so you guys can see there's the four different pins, and let's see it says choose your injection site but you can do it on your thighs the back of your arm or in your belly um i mean i work in healthcare, so i'm not completely unfamiliar with this so you pull this gray cap off right here and then you make sure that the pin is locked before you pull the cap off and then you place it against the skin and then you put it into the unlock position and then you press and hold for 10 seconds. The purple injection button, you press and hold it for up to 10 seconds. Okay, so about there. And then you listen for the first click and that is the injection is started. And then the second click is the injection is completed. And then I think they say like, wait just a few seconds um, you know, afterwards to make sure the medicine all got in. So, okay. And then I believe these have to store in the refrigerator. I believe, I believe that's where people store them. Let's see if it says here. Yes, store the refrigerator. And then um, basically they will take it out like for 15, 30 minutes, something like that before they give the injection. And then they will, um, it doesn't sting and burn so bad. Of course, this just came from the pharmacy, so it's not been in the um, refrigerator yet. Okay, so. I'm gonna do this on my abdomen. Of course, I'm not gonna show you guys because, you know, it's my belly. So, I just don't feel comfortable doing that on camera at this time, but we're going to, we got my alcohol and we got a little cotton ball. So I'm going to put the alcohol oop, and get it all over my fingers. Okay, I'm gonna clean my skin. Good and clean. Okay. And then we let that dry for a little bit. So while it's drying. Okay, I think I can do this, people. I can do this. I don't think it'll be that bad. I mean, it can't be any worse than getting, you know, your blood drawn or something like that. So I am so excited, like beyond excited. Like you have no idea, like when I first was like reading the studies and stuff about these and seeing like this, I'm like, oh my goodness, I need this medicine. And that was like last summer. Like, I think it came out like May or June, something like that. And I have been like wanting this medicine since then, but I didn't have insurance um, back then. Now I do, and now I work for a company that's gonna cover the med and I'm just like, I'm beyond excited. I'm just beyond excited. <laughs> so, okay, all right. So we are going to keep it in the lock position. I have pulled the gray cap off, okay? Here we are doing this, guys. Putting this against my skin. I'm unlocking it and I'm hitting the button. There's the first click. Ah, yep, there it goes. There's the second click. I felt it, wasn't bad at all. Just a tiny little bit. And I'm waiting just a few seconds. And there we go. First injections done, people. First injections done. Now, I just need to get a sharps container to put this back together, but I did put the cap back on because, you know. And then I need to get a sharps container, okay. So just a little bit of stinging is all that I'm feeling right now. Um, and I think that's kind of common with, you know, injections, so. There we go. First injection is done and it is January 13th. It's a Friday. It is like 4 p.m. Um, I couldn't wait. I just had to do it. 
as soon as I got it. So, all right, first injection is done. Um, so I did weigh at the beginning of the week. Of course, I would weigh this morning at my doctor's office. And my scale was very similar to their scale, actually. I couldn't believe it. Um, usually I weigh more at the doctor's office. And then I also measured because... I wanted to see if I was losing inches along with, you know, just cause sometimes just the scale isn't always the best tool whenever you're on a weight loss health journey. Um, so I also signed up for a local gym and my goal is to try to get there a couple times a week, working three 12 hour shifts. And then especially when I work like nine days out of 13, I know I'm not going to get to the gym three days a week. It's just going to be impossible because I work so much. And I don't like going like every like two days in a row kind of thing because I'm not built up yet. Maybe once I get there, um, that will be no problem. But I like to like spread out for recovery for my muscles. So I probably won't only be able to weight lift like a couple times a week. And then that third day, um, maybe I kind of would like to work on flexibility and stuff like that. So maybe um, just do like some light walking around the neighborhood when the weather's nice. Um, my exercise bike is in storage, of course, and all my current weightlifting stuff that I had at home is all in storage. So I had to join a gym because I have access to nothing other than, you know, just walking around and just doing a little bit of, you know, body weight stuff. So I also am supposed to have on Tuesday my first uh, virtual meeting with a personal trainer. Um, so I decided to sign up for a two, they gave me a two week free trial to co-pilot. And so I'm having my first um, actual meeting with her on Tuesday at noon. And then she will um, like customize workouts for me and etc. And um, I'm hoping that I really like that. And it'll give me like some direction when I go to the gym. I have like in the past I've used like um, different gym guides that I have found online like Mari Fitness had some and I've used her gym guides in the past and they're great and I may go back to them if this whole co-pilot thing doesn't work out long term it's kind of expensive it's like a hundred dollars a month um, but they gave me like the first month like for fifty dollars and then I can cancel at any time so I thought well I'll try and see what I can do in that first month and if it's gonna be worth the money for me um, if not I'll just go back to my you know old trusty Mari Fitness gym guides because those have done me well. Um, so we'll kind of we'll see how this goes. I'm curious um, what I would like to. The co-pilot um, personal trainer supposedly is it will set up um, like customized workouts for you like what you prefer. So I'm hoping that maybe she'll do a couple like weightlifting days and then maybe do some like um, flexibility work and stretching and stuff like that on the third day. Um, so anyway um, so that's kind of my plan as far as eating goes. I don't really know what to expect on this. Um, my cousin said that she just does, does not like, get hungry. And she has a lot of nausea with it. Like especially the first day or two after her injections. So I'm not really sure what to expect. I'm not sure how it's going to affect me at all. Um, so I'll just kind of play that by ear. But I want to focus on protein because I am going to be weightlifting. Um, so I really want to try to focus on getting in enough protein and I've heard that if you take enough protein that helps the nausea and stuff so um, I typically don't like eat breakfast but I think what I'll start doing is drinking a protein shake um, because that would at least give me some protein um, to start my day so anyway I will see I'll just kind of try to update along as I can um, of course I have my phone with me all the time so I may just end up videoing a lot of this on my phone right now because um, it's just a little bit easier than digging out the camera so anyway but I just wanted to get on here and share this first um, injection with you and we're gonna see where this goes guys so I will gonna try to do weekly um, follow-up so um, I work next Friday so it, you know I probably won't be right on the money like as far as like probably won't necessarily be every every Friday because I mean I work some of them so but I'm gonna try to if I can try to get this posted by um, by tomorrow get it ready today and be posted by tomorrow and so that way you guys can um, join this journey with me and hopefully I can post up updates most Saturdays um, I may have to 
post on a Monday sometime or whatever. It just kind of depends on my work schedule because I do work a couple Saturdays out of the month. So, um, but I'm going to try to get, get a video out to you every week to kind of give you updates and I'll try to pick my phone up like through the week and let you know how things are going. So that way I can kind of compile, you know, a week's worth of material for you guys. Um, so anyway, thank you guys for watching this video. Um, if you are interested in following me, definitely hit the subscribe button down below. I would love to have you guys and I will keep you updated in this journey, um, of starting Monjaro. So. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.